Om Shanti, today is your 122nd day of your meditative blessing. And in today's blessing, God teaches us one method through which we can change our bad habits. We might be knowing about the bad habits which we have. We might have all the knowledge. We might have read the scriptures also. We might have read many positive thinking books also. But why are we not able to change ourselves? Why? Because we think that we want to change ourselves for achieving something, whether it be love of somebody, whether it be somebody's approval, whether it be finances, whether it be health, that we take care of your body, for getting compliments from other people or whatsoever it may be, that we think that we need to change so that other people appreciate us or they love us back or they or they give us some form of approval. God says that is not a complete way of changing. That is a very temporary method of changing. But God teaches us a permanent method of changing. Let's see what exactly that is. So Baba says, may you become a master son of knowledge. God is the son of knowledge. In devotion, people, they offer their offerings or they worship the sun God. That is the physical elemental God. They think that that is God. But God says, that is not God. That is something which gives you light and it helps to remove virus and bacteria in your physical world. But I am the God of the souls. So we are thinking of the physical sun as the God of the body. Because we think that I am a body, so the sun is taking care of me. But God says, I am the rays of light and knowledge is light. So God gives us the knowledge about a previous birth, how many births we have taken, how many times we have come down on this earth, and how many sins we have done and how many good things we have done. So that knowledge is only with God. So God says... <laughs> a master son of knowledge and burn the germs of old sanskar that physical son it burns the virus and bacteria of the physical world but god is talking about the germs within the mind over here within the soul the soul has become impure the soul is not able to go back to the param dham or the supreme abode so god says i come down and give you the knowledge and the method to kill the germs within your mind so, Baba says, and burn the germs of old sanskars. Sanskars means old bad habits with powerful rays of knowledge and yoga. So, we need both knowledge and yoga. If there's just knowledge, then there's going to be ego. But if there's no yoga, means no connection with God, then the ego will sustain and it will persist in bringing us down all the time. So, let's understand in detail. God says, in order to transform any impure atmosphere, whether it's your home atmosphere which has become impure, where everybody is looking down upon each other, everybody is calling names, or everybody is finding faults in each other, and the whole atmosphere of the house is bad, or your workplace, or your office, or your or your any business place. So Baba says, in order to transform any impure atmosphere and to burn the germs of old sanskars, why that atmosphere is bad? Because of your bad habits. Some habits could be looking down upon other people, finding faults in other people and spreading those faults to other people that can also impurify completely your whole atmosphere, whether it be home, your office or your business. So then God says, in order to transform any impure atmosphere and to burn the germs of old habits of sanskars, constantly have the awareness. What is that awareness? That is like a positive affirmation. It says, I am a master son of knowledge. God is the son of knowledge, S-U-N, not S-O-N. And we are the master sons of knowledge. So God says the son's duty is to give light and to burn rubbish. That's what it does, right? If you take a lens also and put it onto a paper and if you, if you merge all the rays of sun, it will burn that paper also. It has got so much of power. <clears throat> Similarly, we souls are also powerful. God is also powerful. So we have to be in connection or in yoga with God. So Baba says then, so continue to carry out this task with the power of knowledge and yoga. Just knowledge would make us like Ravan. Ravan was all knowledgeful. He had all the knowledge about God and everything else. But having all the knowledge about all the scriptures and shastras, there was a lot of ego. Why? Because there was no love for God or godly love was not there. So either we are in love of God or we are attaining godly love or godly respect or godly name or we are looking for name, fame and love from people because of which we get into greed, we try to impress other people. So any kind of change we try to bring into our life is to get people's or anybody else's approval in the form of love, in the form of respect. And that's where God says the 
change also becomes very temporary you try to change for the people you try to change for a certain period of time and suddenly you find out that you don't have the power or, or any form of love within you because that person who's giving you love for you to change or respect has suddenly stopped giving you that love and respect and then where, where do you go so god says i am the only permanent source of the son of knowledge and son of love happiness bliss so always expect all that love and respect only from me and not from any other person only then your change will be a permanent change not a temporary change so continue to carry out this task <clears throat> with the power of knowledge and yoga and your elevated activities the activity which god has given us from morning till evening if the power is less let's say you have all the knowledge of what is right and what is wrong after reading the murli and brahma kumaris you get to know what is right what is wrong but then the power is less why the knowledge will just give light knowledge is just going to tell us okay what is right what is wrong we have learned it and we might start having some ego about having the knowledge and the germs of old sanskars will not be destroyed so we might be thinking that i am changing but actually we won't be changing why because we won't be having the power of love and respect and happiness and bliss from god but we'll be looking at seeking it from worldly things from people so the change will also be very temporary if somebody stops giving us attention or love or respect suddenly our mood will change our old sanskars will again emerge so whether it's godly love which is permanent or it is humanly love or respect which is temporary we have to decide that because either we bring a permanent change in our old habits bad habits or we bring a temporary change depends upon us even though we might be having the right knowledge about what is right and what is wrong so then god says if the power is less the knowledge will just give light and the germs of old sanskars will not be destroyed because we need to have that love and respect from god only and not from human beings so godly love and respect will bring about a permanent change in our sanskars here respect to whether people love us respect us or don't do that we will still be connected to god and we'll bring about changes in our life and over a period of time they'll also understand so god then says that therefore first of all become powerful with yoga tapasya that means we have to first bring about power in us only through godly connection just knowledge is not enough that's why we sometimes find ourselves faltering on the line of perfection or trying to become perfect in our life we fall down we again rise up we again fall down we again rise up because somewhere or the other the connection between i the soul you the soul and god is disconnected so your connection with god and my connection with god has to be complete and has to be there for a very long time that's why we learn karma yoga in prama kumaris while doing your work you are in connection with god so this is today's blessing think about it meditate upon it and i leave you this beautiful blessing have a blessed day stay safe stay healthy om shanti Thank you.